Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am truly zonked, and my upstairs neighbor has no idea how much I hear him doing up there. Oh, boy. Oh, man, 5 o'clock this morning, and he had his talk radio going, and I'm like, dude, you know, it's an apartment building. It, 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 there's quiet times. Ah, whatever. So, <laughs> any case, welcome back to my playthrough of Green Hill Survival Mode in the Spirits of Amazonia map. And if you watched the previous episode, we completed this, this great roof up here and gave ourselves a very nice building spot. We can do a lot with space like this, and so we're going to expand this out further. But I want to get the basic structure of the building in place and see what it allows us to add on to it afterward. But in any case, um, we're not going to be doing much building today, I think, or at least this episode. We are still waiting for my bamboo to grow back. There's a there's a small bamboo patch, and I used all the trees. I think there are two small bamboo left there, but I just don't have any use for them at the moment. The large bamboo are growing back, and we're going to have to rely on growing our own small bamboo to complete everything here. And in which case, we have... Uh, these are finished, and we definitely want to make sure that we don't sleep on these while waiting for the 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 large bamboo to grow back. Because yeah, that's we want to keep the small bamboo trucking as much as we can here. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of it until we don't, <laughs> and then we suddenly won't need much at all. And in which case, we'll take down uh, the crop plots or repurpose them for something else. I had wanted to get eight of the crop plots going, and I've only got four. Um, we may take some time later to build some additional ones. I'm not sure where I'm going to stick them yet. Everything that I'm building at the moment, I mean, storage-wise, is temporary location. I am not keeping any of this stuff where it happens to be at the moment. This is just so we could get going and, uh, you know, get this thing building here. Now, let's see. I have to plow these. Take just a second here. You can't regrow anything if you don't replow them. Uh, I had heard somebody trying to say once that bamboo would grow back. I have never found that to be the case. I think somebody's trolling somebody there. Uh, well, that's just the internet, right? Okay, so we're going to harvest a couple of long sticks, and we're going to go ahead and plant these. And then I have something... Oh, I wouldn't call it something special, but we, we've got ourselves a little mission to do today. Okay, let me get these watered. Um, last time I tried watering them... How did I get so dirty? Really? Just from chopping those down? I just cleaned myself. Unless it was the tilling. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Let me, uh... Let's see. 40, 40. Alright, let me get these watered. And... We'll continue in just a moment here. Okay, so these four plots are watered to 100%. I was trying to use less water on the first round, and uh, thinking that the bamboo would outgrow the water usage, would outpace it. And it turned out to not be the case, and as far as I'm aware, uh, growth does stall if you have no water. I don't believe fertilizer is necessary, but water is. Would you believe? Okay, so, let's, uh, yeah, that could use a little top up. How's our guys? Alright, we can have a little sip of water here. We could stand a piece of meat, not so much for the protein, but for the little boost in energy here. So we're just going to eat that. 
And what I need to do at the moment, I need to make some space in my pack here. We're going to have to make some storage really soon here too, but we'll get there. So let's see. Actually, yeah, we're going to take... Uh, I don't want to risk losing these. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. This is only going to be on the ground for a few minutes. Okay, I really don't care about that mushroom. And the slot that we need mostly freed up is the food. I am also going to... You know something? I'm going to drop our badons also. Just for safety. If this works right, we're not going to need to drink. We're going to run somewhere, grab something, and come back. And... And I'm not telling you yet. <laughs> Let me see. Hold on a second. Where are we? Okay. You know, this would be a great place to build. That's a big space relative to this game. It's nice and already flattened. You know, once you clear this stuff out, you got lots of room to, to grow things there. Or grow things, build things. Uh, we might swing back for those. I wonder why I haven't run into any warriors here yet. I want to leave it alone. I want to see if this spawns things later on. Okay, so we are here at our destination. And, uh, oh, is this going to let me take this? I want that. I'll take that. And what we're doing here is there's a specific resource. Um, basically, what it is, I, I need to get some metal. And this should be a great spot to collect a bunch of metal really quickly and easily. Except, you know something? It's not here. In the story playthrough... There were cans scattered all throughout here. They were all around the boat underwater. What is that? Oh, it's a stick. I'm like, what the heck is that? <laughs> ah, this was a bust. Oh, this sucks. There's nothing in here at all now. Uh. Okay. Let me get back to the camp. Because, uh... Where are you? I heard you. There you are. A little pecker. Okay, well, that sunk, suck, donkey cojones. Alright. I'm really bummed about that. I seem to be saying that a lot in this game lately. Uh, the whole idea for that trip was there was, in the story mode, there's like six to eight items of canned foods down there. Which I was ex totally expecting to just be able to go and scoop up. Um, not for the food, but for the cans. And that would have been a great source to get a whole handful of metal real soon in the game. And, uh... <sighs> little plant growing right next to our crop plots. That's cool. Alright, so... We're going to have to look for some caves. And uh, actually mine some normal metal here. Let me see. So I'm going to need... Uh, oh, well, it wasn't a complete bust. I picked up an extra turtle shell. Okay, let me drop some items here. Just a bit of this car charcoal. That'll keep. And, uh, we'll take our badons back.
Uh, what do we got? Two quarter after two in the afternoon. Let me see. We haven't really recorded any cave locations. We got one. So we're here. Right where exactly? 3837. So 38, 36, 37. We're here. And let's just go take a quick walk around here. Actually, I'm going to need one item first. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So, we'll harvest you. Do I have any rope? I have rope, but I need a stick. There's a stick. So, uh, let's see. Firstly, let's uh, make a fresh blade. I'll take this guy. And a little bit of these. And stone pickaxe. You know, I need to do something else here first. Because, uh... Let's see, I'm not worried about the oh yeah. Our guy's a little short on energy, and we could be gone for a few. Yeah. We'll take the cassava also. Pickaxe back up. Before we get going, oh, I've already prepped some soup. That I've never cooked. That's useful. Let's uh have a little meal first here. Okay, let's make sure our thirst is topped up. Fill up our water filter as we patiently await the rains to return. Now let's do a double drink. We're going to go for it again. We're not doing this for the carbs, but for the energy. Let's see. Let's, uh... Yeah, top up our fire a little bit here. Go ahead and brew that. I screw it, we'll throw this uh monstera fruit in the other bowl and let that cook up. 4.30. Okay, we're, we're not going far. So let's see. Let's go dead east until we hit a wall. Alright, and let me let's scout along the south first. Let's scooch down the wall. If you hold crouch, you can get by some steeper slopes without <coughs> injuring yourself. Alright, here's a cave. And let's see any friends waiting for us. I hear him. I hear him. Where is he? There you are. Alright, and, um... Uh, let me see. I'm gonna follow along to the right. And we're gonna look for a little iron node. I'd like to get four pieces of iron. Not really following my follow to the right rule here, but I just want to come up here and look really quickly. And I do think we're going to need to watch out for the warriors down in here. Now, in the original map, when you found a cave, even though you might found, find multiple nodes... Ooh, I'll take some obsidian. Um, you can. There's usually only one that's mineable. Which climbing point is this? 
I don't remember this from the previous playthrough. Where am I? 35, 36. 35, 36. Have we hit the golden hour for gaming? <laughs> Okay, um, hmm. I'm not even seeing empty nodes in this cave. I'm trying to keep my ears peeled for, and eyes for scorpions. Oh, that's this cave. We, we just completed that. Oh, well. Alright, let, let's do a little platforming. Because it's a me, you Mario. Uh, uh, yeah, figures. We'll treat that in a moment. Let me get my butt across this here first. I hate platforming. Okay. There's a painting up here that doesn't do anything in survival mode. Uh, ah, son of a... Okay. Let's get down from here. Actually, first things first. Seeing as I'm carrying so much freaking painkiller, I will just go ahead and use one. Take care of that snake bite instantly. <sighs> Alright, let's check ourselves. Check ourselves because we wrecked ourselves. Alright, let me make a couple ash dressings. I know I've got Goliath sitting right there, but I try to save those for special occasions. <laughs> a cat wound would be a good one. And the reason why I say a cat wound would be a good reason for uh, Goliath dressing is because cat wounds are highly prone to infection. But these, not so much. Okay, and that's all we suffered. Alright, this was, a uh, very disappointing. And I'm going to have to make a mental note that this cave is no good for iron. You are already hiding on me. <laughs> Did I not head south from my camp? 34, 36. Got myself turned around here. So 34, 36. I need to go here. I need to go west. West. I don't believe it. See, you know, not that I think that would have helped that much, but that's just the way my brain works. Um, okay, I don't want to use another. Okay, we will use tobacco for that. <clears throat> and we're going to get back to our camp and sleep here. I didn't want to waste another uh, painkiller. You know something? I did. I kind of came out somewhere I didn't intend to. Wait. 
35, 37. 35, 37. Unless I'm up here? No. I did something to myself here. So I want to go a little northwest? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, God. I thought I heard a cat. Alright, I gotta go back up and into the cave. I did something to myself here. I thought I was coming out somewhere I expected and uh, unexpectedly did not. <laughs> yeah, I am definitely still trying to get the knack of this map. Let's see, where's that climbing spot? Oh, we're going to have a problem. Oh, which way did I come? God, I'm oh, I didn't bring anything for energy. Do I have a bone needle? I do. Good. All right. Yep. Um... All right, we're going to take a quick nap on the ground here. This is sort of kind of just a little bit, just to perk our energy up. Just shade. All right, good. We did not contract a worm. Now, and here's our camp. All right, you'll be fine for a moment here, dude. Okay. <laughs> Well, this episode is not going great. I drink twice. That's fine. Go to bed. Okay, well, so there's two attempts at getting some metal busted. Ah, that's real late in the afternoon to sleep. We got a uh, special item growing right in the middle there. Nice. <sighs> Let's get our guy taken care of here. That really stunk. But we're not giving up on that yet. Even if we don't find any metal, we are still doing one thing. And that is... We're passing time while our bamboo regrows. So in fact, let's check on our small bamboo. That is moving right along. Wow, it's almost out of water again already. It's using water fast. I wonder if they changed the mechanic so that it uses more water during the dry season. Or maybe it's this you just don't notice during the, the, the rainy seasons because they're constantly refilling themselves anyway. Alright, so we're heading back east to the wall again, and we're going to go north this time. We entered. Yes, we, we've already checked those caves. Alright. We came at those from the inside. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I, that could have brought us directly where we needed. I didn't need, need to take the, the long route, but live and learn. Okay. I'll take some nuts. And let's see. See now. Another empty node. And yeah, when you, uh, it's like I said, even though you might find multiple quote unquote nodes, generally only one cave is going to be uh, spawning. Uh. 
Here we are. Okay, so we got two pieces of iron. Let's make a note for ourselves. This is 3634. 3634. And that was entering the cave from 3635. And yeah, you gotta get all the way into the painting. Now, it's a possibility because these are really big caves. That, um. Compared to the to the original maps, uh, it's possible there might be a second node in here. All right, where am I on the map here? All right, we just came out here. So let's continue following the wall along here and see if we find anything else. You, you know, screw it, because I really just don't care right now. <laughs> I'm paying too much attention to the walls and not enough to the floor. There's this entrance. Okay. So these are all leading into the same network. And just to finish our circuit. Yay, two empty nodes. What time have we got? It's 130. 3834. 3834. Let's um Take a quick walk through the cave over here. Let's take a little quick hit of energy. And let's see what's inside here. Oh, craft some of this right away. Make an anti infection dressing. That'll be helpful. Ah, here's some company. You know, but I don't have a specific problem with you, except that you seem to have a specific problem with me. Very dodgy. Come on. There's two. Ugh, I'm just throwing my arrows away. get those arrows back. Where was it? I got two into this guy. Let's uh, toss that meat. Mind taking some goodies back to us to, to base with us. 
we are going to trade up that bow right now. Because that's 38. And that is 99. Ooh, we'll take a spare um, obsidian blade also. Let's see, here's one of my arrows. Too many bones. Still too many bones. couple of arrows. You know, I'm going to leave this camp in place. I want to see if in the future if it respawns uh, new warriors. That might be an interesting way to do a little weapon farming. Oh, in fact, I meant to check one other thing quickly. Where's that spear? That's 98. I've got a 59 and an 82. We will trade up. Okay. Ah, continuing looking for meat. Let me see. It's 4.30. We're going to have to get looking for meat. Looking for metal. We're going to have to get back to the camp soon. Okay, where'd I bring myself? Ah! In a trouble. <laughs> Where's he going? He's scampering away. We're gonna have to touch up our armor, uh, I think, also here. Where am I going? 3732. We're at 37. 32. I gotta go down this way and then south. Okay, so southwest and south. Okie doke. So we're back at camp after a very poorly performing exploration. So we did find there is one node of metal up in here, it's this cave, um, at least as far as what's nearby, and also confirmed that none of these and neither of these have anything. There could be some metal in the caves down here. I'm trying to think of, uh, we're going to have to finish exploring along this wall. Because um, we want to be going to, to metal nodes that are close by to the camp. What's our time? It's going on seven. Wash. Let's top ourselves up. Alrighty. So there's two things we need to get built up here. One is um, the mud forge, and the other is we need to get some storage going. We're definitely starting to collect a bunch of stuff and needing places to keep it. So, now the forge, I want to decide a mostly permanent spot for it. It's not the worst thing in the world to, to, to break down and rebuild if you need to, but uh, we've got this much of our base laid out. So, uh, hmm. How are these guys doing? These guys all need water again. All right, let me do this. This is going to take me a moment. Oh. Now, yeah, I could be making this a little easier on myself if I uh, 
used the metal badon because basically I could have filled those one with one uh, load each with the metal badon. Uh, except I've got it, it's full of clean water, and uh, I really don't want to pour that out if I don't have to. I like to hang on to that for if I'm uh, in a pinch wandering around. So, okay. Let's see, where do we want to put this thing? Okay, this will do. I may wind up moving that again. Let's get some sticks in that. And fix that. See, let's drop this obsidian for the moment, and we've got bones for the. It's the zone of bones. Wait, what do you mean, KJ? For it already has that. No, he says bone zone. Yeah, I said zone of bones. Totally different. I, I'm not copying anybody at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let's see, we'll take just a little bit for now. Okay, so I don't do any trademark infringement with, uh... Oh, I had a pile of... Uh, with, with KG848. This this is not the Zone of Bones. This is the Boneyard. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> now, how many does... Um, does that take? That takes six mud bricks. Okay, so we're ahead of the game there. Let's uh, get these. Okay. So, let's take our iron. All two pieces of it. Well, we can only put one at a time. Let's see. Let's pick up some coal. Now, it takes just short of four pieces of charcoal to smelt one piece of metal. I don't like to fill it up entirely because I have a tendency to forget that it's running and walk away. And then it just burns up the remaining charcoal that you loaded into it without producing anything. So I try to just use only what I need. All right, so that's going to burn for a few. Ah, let's see. You know what else we need right now? We need... Okay, so now normally I like to build right along walls. So let's see my walls, where they're going to be. And let's... Put down a couple of chests. Okay. Let's see. We're going to need some sticks first. How are you guys doing? Those are almost ready for harvesting. I might need to make another rack. Okay. Let's, uh, let's load up on sticks. iron doing. That's about halfway through that, two-thirds, something like that. Keep looking for sticks. Okay, there's our first piece of metal. Let's get that guy in there. And because we've got a little bit of time left on that charcoal, we only need to add three. So it's really like three and a half pieces of charcoal to smelt something down into, you know, the iron lump. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's wash so I can eat some of these mushrooms I've been gathering here. Stand to perk up my energy a bit. So, each of these yellow mushrooms that look like upturned funnels give you two energy each. So, depending on how many you can get, five of those is equal to the energy you get from one 
blue mushroom. And also the same amount of energy that you get from a piece of cooked meat. Um, not quite as much as you get from a suit, though. I believe those give you 12 to 15 energy. We need to hunt something. Oh, and this fun game. How to arrange things so that you can fit a damn plank in your pack. Okay, so now, finally, some things that I don't want to throw on the ground anymore. Um, so I'm not worried about the feathers. Not really worried about unloading those right now. There is some things. Let's see, there's some obsidian I picked up. Don't want to lose those. Bones, we can always get tons more of those. And the painkillers, I'm just tired of carrying around. One on hand is fine. I'll throw the metal in there for the moment. And these are done. Nice. I need a third rack for those, though. Okay. Let me go ahead and... Uh, where to put a third rack? Uh, it's getting cramped. switch to a stone blade to chop these down. If you use the obsidian blade or an axe to chop bamboo, you always wind up breaking one of the pieces. Now, I do need smaller pieces for the moment, but I don't want to chop them if I don't have to. Alright, we'll do one more with the obsidian. Okay, I want to do one more task before we wrap this up, and that is we need to put some food on the dryer. Where's a buddy? A lot of times, they're just cappies are just walking in from that area. Boy, any other time, and they're all just walking right through the camp. It's like they know. Hey, yeah, <laughs> he just walks up on carving his buddy. He's like, oh, what you doing? <laughs> All right, let's get this stuff over there. I do still want to hang on to the bones because uh, I will need to start grinding on armor again. And of course, there's a cappy walking around the camp. Y y you know, y you just can't make it up. Uh, not as much as I would have liked, but it'll do. Let's uh, toss our bones in the boneyard. Not the bone zone. <laughs> really, dude? <laughs> and they're just like scattering crap all over the place here too. I'm going to have to clean that all up. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for joining me. This is going to do it for now. Um, did not go as smoothly as I would have liked. But, uh, yeah, eh, it wasn't a complete bust. And again, let's uh, let's take a quick look really, really fast and see how our 
Yeah, I, I think those might be ready. So we're, you know, next episode, uh, I'll catch up on some sleep here. And uh, uh, we're going to do a little bit of metal crafting. And uh, yeah, well, we'll get continued on. So thank you again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please like and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. And uh, stay healthy out there and take care.